I'm Marianne Matthews, Chief Editor of Imaging Economics, and I'm here at HIMSS 2014. I'm sitting right now with Jeff Fleming of Airstream Health, and we're talking a little bit about um, trends in technology at, at HIMSS 2014. So Jeff, yes. tell me, what are you hearing from uh, CIOs, uh, which is, this meeting is really their, their big thing, um, what are you hearing about um, their pain points, what they're looking for, their needs? You know, it's really, um, I think, overwhelming for our CIOs right now because there is so much getting thrown at them on a routine basis. Everything from ICD-10, obviously meaningful use phase two, going into phase three. There's a lot of different um, potentially payment uh, changes going on. There's always the HIPAA security regulations that are changing. So. There's a lot being being brought on. And then there's the opportunity that they see with things like analytics. Big data is certainly well represented on the showroom floor, as is the, the cloud or basically managing things off-site. So all these different um, parts and pieces are really being put in our CIO's lap. So I think it's an exciting time for them, but it's also a challenging time for them. I think it's probably the most challenging time um, in history for healthcare um, IT professionals, uh, particularly the CIO. Now, are you finding that the smaller hospitals, community hospitals, um, have are having different conversations with you than the larger academic institutions? You know, ironically, I think since such so many of the changes are coming from the government level, mm -hmm. so mandates coming down is again from the ONC or others, state level as well as national level, they're very similar. So the, the challenges that they have uh, are, are not disparate or, or different. But the other thing we're seeing is a lot of um, consolidation, whether it's a direct ownership relationship or uh, a, some sort of um, exchange relationship. So there is a lot more collaboration, if not consolidation, going on in the marketplace. Again, everywhere from academic right down to you know smaller tertiary uh, facilities. That makes sense. So it's so the government regulation has sort of been the great leveler. Everybody's um, up against the same kinds of hurdles. No question. Yeah. Now let me um, switch gears here for just a moment. <clears throat> I've been hearing a lot about um, vendor neutral archives and a lot about image sharing, but. One thing I don't hear as much about are uh, viewers. How important is is that topic for um, the CIOs? I, I think now that phase you know one is complete, well into phase two, meaningful use. Now looking at really imaging. How do we enable our investment in our EMR uh, to get images into it? Mm -hmm. So the viewer topic is is certainly heating up, and it's something that. I think if people aren't already actively pursuing, they will be in the very near future. And if we look at the viewer, you also have to look at who's the user of that information. So we have clinical diagnostic viewers. Uh, we just had one FDA approved, I know. which we're very excited about, yes, uh, last week. Um, that's one application, you know, where it's either used by, again, radiologists, cardiologists, maybe surgeons, but then you also have you know, viewing technology that a referring physician, family practitioner, general practitioner, may want to use, but then also then ultimately you have the patient uh, information. The key, I think, with any of these viewers is that they can very easily integrate uh, with the infrastructure that's in place. So they have to work with the EMR. So as opposed to going out for either the community hospital or uh, a large academic or a large IDN, instead of going out and finding your imaging information, it has to really seamlessly be part of, again, what the CIOs are already part of their strategic path. So it's a great opportunity for viewers, but it really has to, I'd say, educate and work hand in hand with the strategy that the enterprise already put in place. Makes sense. Well, thank you very much, Thank Jeff. you. I, I appreciate it. Marianne Matthews reporting from HIMSS 2014.